One key differentiator when delivering a construction project on the 3D Experience platform is maintaining digital continuity across a range of 3D modeling applications. In this video, we're going to connect the sheet metal application to X Design and X Generative Design, maintaining digital continuity from our early conceptual model through to the fabrication model. We'll start in X Design by creating a sketch. This sketch is a CATIA sketch that can be edited later in the Rich client, and we'll make a profile. Then we'll make a few points and we're in order to create two surfaces, one faceted surface and one smooth surface. We'll open that model in X Generative Design and begin modeling with generative design tools on the surfaces created in X Design. We'll start in the 3D interface to create rectangles that will represent each panel. From there, we can open the design sequence and it will add more logic to control which surface we will be acting on to alternate working on one surface or the other. Once I've done that, I'm going to add additional logic to my model so that as I switch the surface, the size of the rectangles will update automatically based on the geometry of that surface. I'll publish those parameters that control the size, the height and width of those panels. And now I'll open the model in the rich application. You see that the parameters and controls to switch from one surface to the other are still fully functional. From there, I'll open the sheet metal application and start to, and start to model a metal panel. In the sheet metal application, you can control K factor, you can control the bends, the radiuses, and the cutouts for fabrication. You can also view the flat panel unfolded that can be projected into a drawing. Next, I'm going to make an assembly, load my X generative design driver model into that assembly, and then my sheet metal panel. Within the context of the, of the full model, I'm going to associate the width and height of my sheet metal panel to the outputs from my X generative design model, create an engineering constraint that's going to position my panel in the correct location, and then make an assembly pattern which is going to instantiate that panel across the surface, constraining each panel to the axis systems that have been generated in X generative design. Because CATIA is a parametric modeler, when I change that input surface now, the panel location and size will update based on the dependencies within my model. Taking it a step further, I can create a subdivision surface with the Imagine and Shape application. Perform a replace within my model and reassociate all of my panels to that new subdivision surface. I can continue reworking that surface and all of my panels will update accordingly. Because these are sheet metal panels, I can always go back and show that unfold, which, will, which could then be output to our manufacturing facilities to build these panels. So here you've seen very briefly a workflow that maintains digital continuity from our web conceptual generative design applications through into the Ridge client where we've done sheet metal modeling for fabrication. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video.